Hey, what's up, guys? Camp and Rusher here. Okay, we've got some good and some bad news today. Two different pieces, and depending on who you are, you're going to fall on one side or the other. The first one's a little more obvious, and it's to do with Doom. Fortnite Status tweeted this earlier today. It was, is, and will always be Doom who pulls the strings. The Isle of Doom spawn rates have been reduced for now. And that for now thing is the big deal. So we knew this weekend the spawn rates of Doom Island went from the starting rate of 5%, one every 20 games, the Doom Island spawns, but they bumped it to 12% just for the weekend. They've now reverted back to 5%, but as expected, this is only temporary. So the question is now, are they just going to do a weekend type of thing where they boost it just to 12% every single time? I've said it since the start. I really think they're testing out this limited event thing and, you know, maybe seeing how the players react, how many more players they get on the weekends. I'm not even saying I agree with it. I'm just saying that's what they're doing. The other option here, and I think this is the option they're going to go for, is they're going to really boost things up either in the next weekends, right? Maybe up to like 30% or something like that. Or they may also do a permanent increase for the last week or so. Uh, again, up to 20, 30, 40, who knows? Just because I think by the end of this, they want everybody to have at least one chance playing with Doom. I can understand where they're coming from with testing this new style of event, but at the same time, I would be shocked if they don't also want, by the end, everyone to get a chance to play with this super cool, unique, overpowered uh, Doom armor. Yeah, if that doesn't happen, it'll make more people angry. I think it's a net negative for them, for the players, so just... Be patient, I'm sure it's coming. Okay, here is the more confusing piece. I'll actually start with this part. There's three surveys that went out, okay? And the first one we're gonna talk about just because it's related to Doom. Epic is already surveying players about the Isle of Doom and being Doom's chosen. They're also asking which type of POI change players prefer, small, medium, or the entire part of the map. So if you're part of the survey program, uh, make sure you answer and answer quickly. Based on some of these responses, I'm sure they may actually make adjustments to their plan with this spawn rate thing we're talking about. The next survey is the more interesting one, I would say. And they are surveying players not only on if Battle Pass cosmetics should be for sale after season has ended, but also if Crew Pass cosmetics should be for sale as well. So this debate, I mean, they've already announced that starting this season, any Battle Pass skin that was in this Battle Pass can be sold in the item shop 18 months after the season has ended, okay? They've announced that it's now a thing, but maybe it's not as set in stone as we might think because they are still surveying about this. And I mean, we talked about it when this first happened. Is this the start for all types of cosmetics, right? There's been some crew pass stuff that's exclusive. A few random other skins that have dropped in the shop that have said exclusive before. And I don't think they can go back on this. Anything they change will be from the present and to the future. You can't really reverse your decision on something that was exclusive when you sold it. That's why they're not doing any of the old battle pass skins. But what are your thoughts on this? I know the community is very split lit on this and I do understand why right a lot of the value of the battle pass to some players is the exclusivity you played during that season you bucked up the V-Bucks and no one else should get it because it feels cool for some people to have a rare item but then on the other side the argument is well these guys didn't start playing Fortnite until maybe this year so the Iron Man skin for example came out in chapter 2 season 4 maybe your favorite superhero of all time and just because you hadn't found Fortnite yet you don't ever get a chance to play with this skin of course reminder speaking of Iron Man we are getting we think a brand new Iron Man skin in the item shop with our next update next week September 17th so be ready for that it is different than the original Battle Pass skin of course but that's been their solution to this problem in the past so let me know your thoughts I am interested what you think what the results of this survey will lead Epic to do are we going to see more exclusive going away are we going to see exclusives uh indefinitely going away in any category crew battle pass etc i'm starting to think so but the results of the survey the community feedback will very much help epic make their decision one other piece here from the survey asked players to pick between three recent music experiences in fortnite and which one they liked best and why the experiences are metallica carol g 
and Kid Lowry Wild Dreams. Okay, in case you missed it, there are two Peely skins, two new ones that are planned to release this season. The first one is Tribal Peely with our next update, 31.2, as part of the Lost Isles update. And this is for the Lego Clombo. It's confirmed. It's happening next week, September 17th. This is most likely a Lego Pass skin, but it may get, it will probably get a Battle Royale normal version as well. There's also a Cake Peely skin that's ready to go. This is most likely a skin for Battle Royale's birthday, which that'll probably be the update after this one, or maybe we'll get to see it in the files this week. Who knows? Subscribe, turn your noties on. I'll keep you up to date on all things Fortnite, especially as we start heading into our second half of the season, leading into OG, our new chapter. Things are going to ramp up news-wise here in the next week and a half or so, and I'm your guy. Fortnite times NASCAR was teased officially at the FNCS. You can see it there. Just for some background on this, According to a NASCAR employee's LinkedIn page, there are exciting plans to bring NASCAR elements into the Fortnite platform. There'll be new licensed vehicles and new rocket racing tracks. I would expect they would sell this as a car skin in the item shop as well for Battle Royale. Okay, a little bit of coverage on our FNCS 2024. The global champions are Peter Bot and Polo. I don't follow competitive a ton anymore, but even though I don't, I know this Peter Bot guy has just been running show so congrats to him the overall purse was two million with the winners getting four hundred thousand bucks so yeah they're not doing too bad maybe take a nice little vacation they probably won't you get to the top by grinding so i'm sure they're back on today get their reps in preparing for the next competitive event and that is in 2025 the fncs 2025 will have an eight million dollar prize pool it will be trios and siphon is returning to competitive how they're doing it they're doing like this siphon trials thing which is a series of tournaments to test different versions of siphon for its return and competitive and siphons just when you get health for uh, doing damage or eliminating other players so that's probably what they're going to be testing out here do you get extra health and shield or health and shield back after you eliminate someone or will it just be from doing damage based on how these trials go that'll help them make the decision for the uh, official event right once it begins so exciting stuff in the competitive scene the playstation 5 pro will likely be announced tomorrow in 24 hours from now this was earlier today so tomorrow morning sony will have a playstation 5 technical presentation where they are extremely likely to show the console and that's just concept art in front of you it's not official but what people think it may look like. I will cover this once we get the official announcement in our next video. Okay, I'm really hyped for this one from Wenzo here. The following loading screens are now a part of the artist showcase set, which will be used for the upcoming loading screen skins. The set was supposed to release last season with five female and five male skins, one back bling and a pickaxe. So the idea here, there'll be a bunch of different versions, 10 different versions of these skins. And these loading screens you saw in front of you there, those will be part of the customizability. I'm sure it'll act like a wrap on your skin or something like that. I'm already a fan of loading screens. We actually show off a lot of the cool ones on update night because some are storyline related or they just look so good. So to have another use for them specifically on a skin, I just think this is a great idea. I hope these sell well so they continue to do it in the future. And then finally, here is a theory about the end of this season. We know, speaking of loading screens, of this very cool loading screen that dropped with our recent update, Hope going at Doom. And akko has got a theory here that I don't like, I'm not a fan of, but he might be right. Jones will die this season. He's mentored Hope enough for her to take his place and avenge him. The Oracle spoke of victory hidden in defeat, so we may lose Jones. If he doesn't die, I think something will happen to him that will be his send-off in the story. If it happens, it better be well done because we are talking about Fortnite's closest thing to a main character. I would argue he for sure is the main character, Jones, right? The original Jones. They've been teasing this a lot. Like, he's not getting this theory out of nowhere like the voice lines and everything they're mentioning here being a mentor to hope and again i really do think that victory hidden in defeat is a powerful purposeful line that 
this this could be what we're talking about. It may be someone else that sacrificed, but to have the most hit and and really this kind of is the chapter five finale in a way, right? I know we have the OG one month long season, but to me that's almost like a separate thing. This season four, uh, it, it can be looked at as a finale for the chapter. Of course, we do have our main live event after the OG season going into the new chapter around December 1st, but I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Thought we'd bring it up. Akko, I kind of hope you're wrong, but also if you're right, like he said, I hope they do it right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Subscribe, touch that like button. Take care. Talk soon. Goodbye.